Listen, these are gonna be the three best time blocking apps that you can get right now. There are no better calendar apps than these. Well, maybe some that I'm not aware of, but doesn't matter, you're here. Just like I said, I'm right here when I started my journey on time blocking with Google Calendar in 2019. It has been a wonderful ride. I've tried many apps, I've reviewed way too many apps to count. I've done way too many tutorials, but first and foremost, Google Calendar is simple, it is effective. For me, what I really like about Google Calendar is that I can set up multiple calendars within it, as you can see, and have my entire life pretty much mapped out from the beginning to the end of the day. And I do have these gaps during work so that I just know that like, all right, this is when I'm doing work, but it would be nice to like mention to myself, hey, maybe I could uh, do the laundry or something to that effect. But what we do have to remember here is that this is one of the best features. This app has more features than I can count. And I honestly like the fact that I use the premium version because if I wanted to, and I've done this at my day job before, you can use the appointment schedule to set times with people. Now, one thing that it does lack is its task feature. When you create a new task, unfortunately, Google Tasks is just not very good in this sense it can only be in 30 minute increments it would be amazing if it could do that and an app that can do that is morgan so with morgan as you can see it has not only the basic time blocking and integration of multiple calendars within here because i have my day job stuff my side gig stuff my personal stuff all in one calendar but it also has task management i can just integrate something from Todoist, drag this over here. And the next thing I know, I actually have a task that's scheduled on my calendar that slots into these empty time blocking situations. Whereas you could use the Todoist integration that comes native with Google Calendar, but it's a little harder to do. And if you don't like Todoist and you don't wanna use the premium version of this, you can just get used to using the Morgan app with its native tasks, which are solid. And on top of that, they have a mobile app it is very easy to basically become a daily planner. And you can definitely see how this could be one. You have a week view here. You have the option to add all of your different views over here. So we have day right now as an option, month, week, agenda. It's really all in what you want, but this is essentially a daily planner that can time block and has a scheduling link associated to it. So this is actually how I book a lot of my meetings. You see seven booked here, means this is how many quick syncs I have booked. It's also how I schedule with like my guests, for the podcast, then you can make one-off links for people to go here, one-time link, schedule a time with me, then I can save and copy this link out to somebody for them to book a time with me. As you can see right here, this example pops up and I could pick this time with myself. It's a weird thing to say out loud. The pricing on this guy is free for one recurring scheduling link, unlimited one-time links. It has the tasks built in for free. You do not need to pay for this app and you can get integrations and multiple calendar accounts for four dollars a month or you could try out cron which is another great application that actually was purchased by notion a couple actually more than a couple months ago at this point and it's exciting because cron has very similar features to morgan but you know it could be integrated with notion this year we don't really know it is 100 percent free right now because of the beta i'd say it's very aesthetic it's very fluid it's very fun to use and you can make scheduling links on here. But one thing to point out is that it does not have the same kind of integrations as uh, Morgan does. Morgan does a really great job of having Outlook, Google Cal, everything. This one really is just a Google Cal uh, aesthetic changer with like booking links associated to it. But it's got a nice mobile app, looks very, very nice, has pretty nice keyboard shortcuts and overall, I would recommend it to anybody who's looking for a new calendar app. I don't think there's any reason not to check this one out. Just like I don't think that there is any reason that you shouldn't check out this video on how to improve your productivity even more.